sure. Okay. Well, hi, Aubrey. Thank you for joining me. Um, and for everyone who's watching, I got to connect with Aubrey through her grandmother, um, Jamie Miller, who is the, is it founder or co-founder? Um, founder. Founder. Founder of um, Ikelu Meanui, um, which is an organization that um, works to figure out alternatives and um, culturally grounded practices for folks coming out of incarceration. Um, so today, just kind of hear a little bit from Aubrey sharing her mana'o, sharing her story. So maybe to start, Aubrey, do you want to share with us um, just your name, where you call home, and who is an ancestor that taught you what love is? Um, so my name is Aubrey Love Kui Lani Kealoha. Um, I call home Ponalu'u and Kahalu'u on Oahu. And an ancestor who taught me what love is is I think I have multiple, so I would say like my whole family, especially like the girls on my family. Yeah. Okay, I love that. Collective ancestors, yeah. Okay. Um, well, Aubrey, I'd love to hear anything you wanna share with me and everyone watching, um, how you or um, anyone in your Ohana has been impacted by incarceration. Um, so when I was two, my mom's brother, my uncle, got into a car accident and he was sentenced to 10 years in prison. And so then kind of like when that happened, no one on at least that side of my family had been like impacted with incarceration. So no one really knew what was like happening, what was going to happen, how it would affect him in the future. And so I think that's something that my mom or my grandma, sorry, my grandma really started to look into and like, like just seeing how, like how people who are incarcerated are getting treated. And then kind of through her, I kind of like started looking into it because I was like still really young at the time. Cause like, and so I would never know what was going on, but really when like COVID hit, that's when I started like, looking into like, like everything that people who are incarcerated go through. Oh, wow. What what happened for you when, when COVID hit? Um, I got a mini grant for Seeds of Peace and I was able to interview two people who had been incarcerated and hear their stories on how like prison has impacted them how it still impacts them today and kind of just letting like the larger community know that like not everyone is bad even if they are incarcerated they still like deserve second chances yeah yeah that's beautiful Aubrey what are some things um that you learned from those interviews um I learned that no matter what people do they're gonna get a label even yeah. if that label is true or false and most times it's gonna be false no, like specifically towards people who have been incarcerated like they'll say like oh you've done this mistake you're never gonna fix yourself ever again you're yeah. gonna be like a terrible person no one's gonna love you again you're never gonna get like you're never gonna change basically and what I've learned from that is that it's not true because I've had family members who have been incarcerated, like my grandpa on my dad's side um, and my uncle. And knowing how they're like such like good people today and how they've like been good people ever since, it's like, that's not true. They're not, they can change. And that's definitely something I've learned. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, Aubrey, I'm very inspired by you that you like applied for a mini grant. I think that's really cool. <laughs> what kind of like brought you to do that or motivated you to do that? So I was in a program called in Momono, like a summer program basically. And um, I think one of like one of like the kumus there was like binded into like that kind of stuff. And it kind of like went out to everybody like, oh, sign up for this mini grant. You might get it. You might not get it. Just do a project on something that like you have been impacted by. 
and I was talking, or my grandma and my mom had brought it up to me, and we were talking about it, and then my grandma had mentioned, oh, you should do incarceration since I'm doing a Kolo Manui, and you know, like, what it's like to have, like, a loved one incarcerated, and I was like, okay, I'll do it. So I did the project, and then I ended up getting the grant, and yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that that is um, such a connection, even in your family, like that your grandma is doing as well. Have there been any um, memories that you have of watching her do the work that she does that um, kind of inspire you or or shape kind of the way that you're thinking about things? I know, like, also something that she does is like she does she does the crack seeds to fundraise for Economy Anui. And I know that her and, like, other family members would stay up, like, really late just cutting seeds so they could package it and then send it out to people to fundraise. And that kind of, like, inspired me in a way because, like, that shows that they actually care about it. If they're going to stay up that late cutting seeds, and it's kind of boring. (laughs) I I don't really like cutting seeds with them. (laughs) But it's, it's still really inspiring because, like, that just shows that they want to make a difference and they're going to make a difference. And it just shows that they actually care about what they're doing. Right, right. I mean, that goes back to me to what you shared at the beginning of the people that taught you how to love were the Wahine and your family. Um, Well, Brittany, you, I mean, excuse me, Aubrey, (laughs) you probably already know this, but um, it takes like $219 a day to incarcerate somebody. Um, So it's almost $80,000 a year. Um, And I'm wondering, as you're kind of imagining things and hearing stories, what are some of the things that you think we should be investing that money in instead um, to really care about our community, our health, and our our safety? Um, I think that instead of investing that money into like, because like right now, they're like building like million dollar prisons Mm. for like higher security and like just bigger prisons when it's not really necessary. Basically what that's showing is that they're thinking that, or what I, from my perspective, it's basically showing that they're thinking that a lot of Hawaiians are gonna get incarcerated so they need a bigger prison when instead they should be like putting that money into like Hawaiians who are like transitioning out of prison so they can get a better support system so they don't relapse back into prison mm-hmm. and they don't like continue to do bad stuff and like that I feel like that's what they should spend their money on is because like it makes no sense for me at least to spend like all that money on a prison that you're probably not going to need mm-hmm. and if you think you're going to need it that much then why are you trying to like tell the future to make that bigger prison that you think you're going to need when you can help prevent it from happening mm-hmm. it's like it, it just doesn't make sense yeah yeah I think you're totally right Aubrey that's that's really wise yeah why build something if we're not going to need it yeah yeah <laughs> well Aubrey is there anything else um that you want to share with people that might watch this or anything you want to encourage people to um, to do? Um, not really. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much, Aubrey. Um, I, I learned a lot from you and, um, thank you for your, your work and your witness and the things that you do. So mahalo. Thank you.